Four previous drunk driving convictions accused of killing four family members. Tonight, grief-stricken loved ones gathered to share their feelings. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley takes us there. This is what it's come to. Hundreds of broken hearts shining a light on what needs to happen next. We are here. Gridlocked and filled with grief. Each person burning inside. It was my uncle. Giovanni Miller could not have known life would leave him at 18 or that death would rush through that warning. It made me sad because I haven't seen him in like years. All of us know what this street is. They say it's been a long time problem. This used to have a, a red green traffic light here and they took that out. Then they put in a caution light that would just blink. Then they took that out and made it into a four-way. None of it strong enough to stop a suspected drunk driver. Police say Dante Kennard ignored the sign. The 48-year-old has been arrested multiple times over the past 20 years. 11.30 Friday night became Kennard's fifth OVI-related incident. It was three of us here that night to watch them pass away. It was three of us here that night that had tears in our eyes when we found that baby. Just 22 months old, Anastasia Smith was 19 and Michelle Hamas was 47. Reluctantly, they're letting go. Realizing in the shadows of that stop sign, they embrace the present, the closest they will come to who they've lost. And we're all gonna be together and become stronger as a family. In Ashtabula, Frank Wiley, News 5.